Dude, what are you thinking? <laughs> this is so nasty. I'm so, so intrigued by this. Welcome back. Today we are making a Bringle Birdie cream. Today we are making a Bringle Birdie green. I had to look up each and every one of those words because I had no clue what a Bringle Birdie green was. And upon Googling, I found out that I don't even think it is Bringle Birdie green. I think it's Bringle Birdie green. But let's go on this journey with me. Um, I was going through the American Family Cookbook. Now this is the cookbook that I got that mushroom sprite caraway sauce that we did in the Christmas um, scrambled egg basket episode. You can find that one there. But this cookbook is literally my favorite thing because it just has the most wacky recipes in it. I found this one by accident. Um, I was looking for something else. And I had a whole different plan for this week, and once I found it, I couldn't let it go. I had to make it. <laughs> so, Bringle, Bringle Birdie Cream. So, Bringle is a word for eggplant, I found out. Um, so, it's there's eggplant. Birdie Green was the owner and operator of a club called the Astor Club in London that operated from 1930s to 1970s. And it was apparently the place to go. So it was one of those things where people will go to a show or play and then go out to the Astro Club after. Um, apparently, allegedly, it was a hangout for movie stars and, and famous people and gangsters and musicians. So it was kind of, it seemed like a really fun place to be. And Birdie Green was the owner. Um, and according to Wikipedia, not so nice of a guy. And I'm guessing that might be the reason that this dish was named after him. <laughs> Um, they served it there, so maybe it was tasty, but gosh, it seems like an insult to me. Um, <laughs> so, we are going to find out today what happens when you put an eggplant and a banana together. Excited? I am. To make this dish, you're going to need one eggplant, one banana, two tomatoes, an onion, garlic, butter, Parmesan cheese, and olive oil. Cut the eggplant down the middle and score the inside. The recipe calls for a quarter cup of olive oil in a hot pan, preferably a pan that's big enough to fit your eggplant, and even better, a pan that can fit both your eggplants, which mine wasn't. Um, you're supposed to cook it for 15 minutes on each side. I ended up adding some water in there to steam it, to help steam it. The other half I did as directed, and you can see the results are a little dark. <laughs> You're gonna mince a quarter cup of onion and just apparently throw it around the cutting board. Then to the garlic, um, mince one clove of garlic. Chop, chop, chop. And then you're gonna cut tomatoes. It'd be nice if you actually got them being cut in the frame of the photography, but oh well. Oh good, the bottom half of the grater. Who doesn't wanna see that? You're gonna scoop out the inside of the eggplant. Then we're gonna go back to the pan and saute the onions, the garlic, the tomatoes, that in innards of the eggplant, and cook that up for about 10 to 15 minutes. I do add a little bit more salt there as well. You're gonna go back and fill your eggplant halves. And now the piece de resistance, we're gonna cut a banana in half and just lay those slices right on top of, of the eggplant mixture. And don't forget to top it with Parmesan. Now it's time to make the hollandaise. First, you're going to separate two eggs. We just need the egg yolks for this one. Classy separation there. Then two tablespoons of cream. And a few grains of cayenne pepper. Then over a double boiler, you're going to whisk until the mixture lightens. At some point in the middle there, you're also gonna squeeze some lemon juice in there, two tablespoons worth, and whisk, whisk, whisk. I will be honest with you, it started to get a little clumpy here, so I took it off the heat, um, and it had lightened in color, so 
I went to the next step, which was we were going to add a half cup of butter, one tablespoon at a time. And so whisk, 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 I did that. I did end up bringing the water from the double boiler over here um, just to help with this process. So it was an over direct heat, but it still had some warmth underneath it to help melt that butter. Then it's time to put the eggplant under the broiler for five minutes until everything gets brown and toasty. And there it is. Ah, eggplant banana. Time to add the hollandaise. My sauce pouring leaves a little bit to be desired. At this point, I have been working on this project for over two hours. My hair is a mess, my face is a mess, and it is all for a banana eggplant parmesan. Watch him. Alright. So Max is super excited. He's gonna he's gonna try the Bringle Birdie Green here. Alright, just You can try it. Get some with the banana. Dude, what are you thinking? <laughs> this is so nasty. Max, you're ruining the banana! Dude, I'm trying to get it without getting this out of you. I like it, actually. It's good. It's a little sweet. I, dude, I really don't want to do this, Mom. Like, this is not... You, it's real quick. Like, this is the last thing. It's like, this is worse than getting the vaccine. Mom. Like, <laughs> that wasn't bad at all. It wasn't. This is terrible. Oh man. Do it. All right. Thanks, bud. <laughs> All right, I have to say, this is surprisingly delicious. <laughs> the banana. I don't know. It doesn't super taste. It just gives it a sweetness. Oh my god. Like, I would serve this to you if you came to my house. Come to my house and I'll serve this to you. <laughs> Oh man, this is tasty. I'm so, so intrigued by this. It, it's delicious. <laughs> I am flabbergasted how good this is. Uh, it does make all of that effort just a little bit more worth it. Um, I'm literally blown away. This is, this is much, like blows my mind how much better it is than I thought it was going to be. It's amazing. Mm. It's so good. Maybe you're ready to something.